I was just saying, oh, it's a good job Argus is doing this because he's quite adept with the forks. <laughs> I like it. What are you loving it? <laughs> Hello, Famsome Guy, how are you? Morning, Argsy. I'm very well, thank you. Yourself? Not too bad, thank you standing in here admiring all our uh, toils of labour from our live stream. Lots of oats and wheat. Yeah, the bags look good, don't they? It was a nice mm. uh, nice solution, that. Yeah, once we got it working, uh, but pleased it did work on the multiplayer. Yeah, no, it was uh, a definitely a huge success. Hmm. So you've got a bit of a list of what we've got planned for today, don't you? I do indeed. We um, are a bit tight on money, so we need to go and sell some stuff first. But we've got milk uh, and we've got lettuce and wool to sell. Mm -hmm. And we thought we might add that extra sheep pasture in that we've been talking about for a few episodes. Sounds like a good idea, get those sheep reproducing again. Yes, indeed. And then uh, I think we'll slurry those two fields that we combined last night, and hopefully by then the canola might be ready. If not, we'll uh, we'll sleep on it and it should be ready tomorrow. Hmm. Okay. Well, it sounds like another busy day, so better go and get started. No worries. I'll go and feed the animals while you uh, go and sell some stuff. E excellent. All right. Let's get into it. Catch you shortly. All right. Morning, everyone. How are we doing today? We uh, have got the cow feeder or the feed mixer here already done. Just topped it up with silage just there. Used a little bit of straw this time as well from our escapades in the fields with the harvest yesterday. So we've bulked it out a little bit. It means we don't have to use as much silage, which is good. So what we're going to do, we'll feed the cows sheep. Get them all organised. By the time that's done, Arg should be back from the shop, having sold the stuff, and then we'll have enough money to get ourselves sorted with the uh, with the extra street pasture. So there we go. We'll unload this. Won't take too long, and then we will be back. Okay, there we go. Cows topped up. We'll leave this here. They only need a little bit, so that's good. But we have got a full load there, ready for when they next need feeding, which is one less job to worry about. We'll just check the water and the feed of the sheep now. And they're pretty well topped up, actually. I might just give them a little bit more grass, just to keep them right topped up. But other than that, they're full of water, which is good. So we'll uh, get that sorted now. I'm trying to work out how we sell this milk as well. I wonder if our little water tanker works with milk or not. I don't think it does, though. So we might have to lease something to sell our milk. Right, little top up of hay. Not much. We don't need much. There we go. No, it really didn't need much, did it? So that is the animals sorted. Right, we will just wait and see when Ox comes back. There he is, 16,200 in the bank. So we made a little bit of money out of that, which is good. 12,000. So at least we can uh, fund the new sheep pen with that, which is good. We'll unload this and we'll wait for him to come back from the shops. Here's Args with the animal trailer. We needed uh, that to shift the animals from one pen to another. That was a nice little earner, Args. Yeah, it was good. It was good to get a little bit more money in it. So it only cost 1100 bucks to lease this trailer. Uh, but should we get this sheep pasture placed down? We were talking about putting it here and kind of overlapping the two uh, nav meshes, I suppose, or the animal meshes. Have them both roaming around in the trees. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. Alright. Do you want to do it or do you want me to? Happy to do the honours if you want. Yeah, go for it. Then if it's a mistake, I can blame you. <laughs> I see where you're going. Mm -hmm. Work smarter, not harder. Here we go, that looks pretty good, I think. Not bad at all. Right, there's Arx loading up the animals there. I think I need to grab my tractor again and uh, feed them. 
Get them topped up with water and food. FSG to Args. Uh, go ahead. Would now be a really uh, y useful time for me to tell you that I really, really need to repair my tractor. <laughs> um, I suppose it needs to be done, doesn't it? We've got some milk to sell. We'll get that sold pretty quick. Yeah. All right. Is it really, really not going anywhere? It's it's very bright red, and I reckon I've got another few few minutes out of it. That's about it. All right. All right. Oh. At least uh, we've adjusted those prices, so we should be okay. Right, another load of hay. Let's go and top up the new sheep pen. And then we'll go and grab some water. The tanker is over at the cow, bed, cow barn, so we'll uh, grab that in a sec. So I think Argus has selected all the younger sheep and put them in the second pen. There we go. That's that full. So annoyingly our tanker doesn't take milk, it only takes water. Oh, is it? Should have edited the XML on that. Yeah, I didn't realise that. So which one does take milk? The MKES. 32 or whatever it is the small silver one could we uh, sell the water we've got and buy that one we get enough money out of it or not it's 25 grand that's a bummer uh, hmm. and ours is nine and a half Unless we um, skip forward a day now. No, we've still got to get those slurry tankers, haven't we? We, we can just still take skip forward. We, we could still just skip take forward a day and do the slurry in the morning. Yeah, we could just take a loan out as well, just a small one. To buy that tanker? Just to buy that tanker, yeah. Yeah, I don't mind. I mean, it's going to pay for itself and what's the exactly, yeah. With? Quite a lot. Yeah, milk's twelve hundred dollars at the moment. We've got fifteen thousand or sixteen thousand liters, so that's uh, what's that? Almost twenty grand. Yeah, I mean, so. we basically paid for it in one load, haven't we? Yeah. I didn't know you could sell straw at the wood boiler for the ranch. Oh, there we go. 4,300 repair costs. Ouch. Sorry, Args, I just blew 4,300 on repairs as well. Just to add insult to injury. Oh, that's alright. We'll uh, we'll get you on the street corner working. <laughs> I think you should do that with your legs. <laughs> I've got the legs covered today. Alright, let's grab the water tank here. Top up the sheep. Fill up the water and then we are done with the animals for a little bit. Now we are talking, we are tight on money. Uh, we need a milk tanker as well to sell our milk. Now the value of the milk will actually cover the cost of the tanker straight away. Uh, unfortunately, we may need to take a loan out to buy it in the first place. Right, with the animals fed, I am now going to swap this tanker over for one that will take milk as well. We'll obviously get a bit of money for this. Plus a little loan, we should be all right. So we'll see you at the shop. Okay, here we are at the shop. Let's just drop this off here. No longer required. I can't remember if we leased that or bought it. Actually, we'll soon find out. And we will uh, purchase the new one. So we did own it. There we go. So we are going to sell that. That gives us an extra 7,200, which is good. Um, the new 
tanker costs us, I believe, 25,000, 8,000 litres. Um, so we will buy that, but with only 11 in the bank, we need to get a bit of a loan. Right, that has covered the cost of the vehicle. We still have a little float of 6,000. Now when we bring the milk back and sell that, we should just about cover the cost of this trailer. Which will push us up to about 25,000, which means we will lease the two slurry tankers we need. Um, to put digestate on the fields. And we could, we'll keep them for a little while. Obviously we make our own digestate, so there's uh, no cost in spreading it on the field as well. And they should be relatively cheap to run. Um, and we'll use them quite a lot over the next few weeks, so uh, definitely worth investing in those. So let's head back to the farm, let's fill this with milk, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. There we go, milk trigger found on the outside of the building, very handy. So, we have filled this, I think we might have to do two runs actually. Just an 8,000 litre capacity, let me shut the gate. No, I know where it is. I don't need to open the gate again next time. Let's just check how much milk we've got left. Yeah, there's virtually another full tank after this one. Good stuff. Right. Milk sell time, and there is Args. Waiting to see how much we make. Watch that money tick up. There we go, just under 10 grand there. Very nice. So by the time we've sold the other one, we're looking at best part of 20,000, like I said, virtually paying for the tanker in one, uh, in one round of milk sales. There he is, washing his tractor. You know our arcs. You can't have a dirty tractor for long. Right, another top up. Another cell, and then we will get stuck into some slurry spreading. And there we go, just over 25,000 in the bank now. Nice to see. Now what I think I might do here is leave the tanker. Might see if we can load up the uh, slurry spreader onto the low loader. I'm not sure it'll fit actually. I was kind of hoping it might fit. Could run the low loader back with a slurry tanker on it. I don't think it is, but let's lease our slurry tankers now. Oh, will have to pop down and get one as well. We're just going to go for the cheapest ones, the little farm techs here. Um, that's all we need, but they will do us nicely. They look good with the old silver on them. No, I do not want to purchase them. That was just about to be a disaster. But at least two of those. It's only $2,300 for two of those for a little while, so relatively s cheap and cheerful. Now, looking at that there, definitely not. We're not going to get them on without causing ourselves a little bit of hassle, so we'll leave the low loader. And we'll head off with the, uh, with the tanker. Then we can't couple one behind the other and have a bit of a tanker train. But look at that, perfectly sized. Lovely. Is Arcs arriving too? Right, here we go. Let's see how long or how far this digestate's going to get us. We will load it up. So it's an 8,000 litre tank, 8,200 litres. We are packing still 31,000 litres in there. I wonder if it will cover both these fields. It will be interesting to find out, won't it? There we go. Slurry on. Let's see how we go with this. Cool 
Go ahead, mate. Oh, I've just put the last 6,000 litres in my spreader. We're done. <laughs> well, that didn't take long, did it? No, it didn't take long to get that field spread either. But uh, that's right. We'll get some more in the next couple of days and uh, probably won't be planting these fields for a while anyhow. No, no. Uh, have we got uh, any slurry in the cow pen as well? Could we use that? Uh, that's a good point, point actually. we are worth checking. I mean, I don't think there'll be loads, but there might be another little bit. Yeah, it might be enough. I've got 30% left, so I'll run a headland on the second field. Oh yeah, yeah, I've just run across it as well. So there we go. Burnt through that pretty quick, didn't we? So we'll uh, we'll see what's in the uh, in the slurry in the cows, but like I said, I don't think it'll be a massive amount. But uh, we could use that as well be great if it cover both fields, wouldn't it? So interesting, it doesn't show it here. Um, so what, let's just open the gate and see if we can fill anything up at all. FSG to args. Go ahead. So interestingly, I can't find any info about how much is in there, but I've just mm. managed to fill an entire tank full of slurry, so... Okay, I'll, I'll uh, see you how much I can get. may have quite a bit. Yeah, it could be. Okay, that was interesting. Let's do this edge here. See how far we can go. I would be very surprised if we get the whole field covered. Filled mine up as well. Interesting. I would be very surprised if we get the whole field done, but that's uh, that's a bit of a bonus, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. Good thinking, though. I hadn't even thought about that. You do have your uses sometimes. Yeah, I'll take the rest of the day off. No, you won't. <laughs> There we go, we're nearly done. We have taken all of the slurry out of the cow pens. And uh, we are going to manage to do both fields, which is a huge surprise. Use digestate for the first field, and we've managed to use slurry for the second. I have 41% of my slurry left. We even did well enough to get our GPS courses lined up without trying. Look at that, we know what we're doing. Like, Now, can we dump? can we dump the rest of this slurry that we haven't used into the BGA and make some money out of it as well. Quite possibly. Um, you're going to have to finish off the very last little piece though. Oh, It was too good to be true. There we go. All done. Nicely done. Check that, we did both fields. That's amazing. Yeah, it was very good actually. And uh, fast. <laughs> Everything does gets done fast in this farm. It does. I, like this. I think it's the size of our fields. It's nice, isn't it? Like you say, sometimes it's nice not to have just the biggest fields you can make. And yeah, absolutely. So you're going to try and dump that into the uh, digestator area? I'm going to see if we can make a little bit of money out of this. Last little bit of uh, cow poo. Yep. I can hear it. It's uh, pumping. Let's make sure we activate it. Uh, produces slower, but it's it's pretty much the same output as uh, as you would have for a, a silage dump as well. So could make a little bit of cash out of that. 
Yeah, we could. I did adjust the capacity slightly on all the other um, pieces, but not as much as the silage because I figured we wouldn't put quite so much in there. But yeah, that's good. No, you're right. That's good. We should we should maybe maybe in the future we should consider actually using some of this electricity and buying an electric tractor. Pardon? <coughs> Sorry, I didn't say anything. Nothing. I just, did I have my mic open. Didn't didn't mean to say anything. Are you okay? Yeah, everyone's fine. <laughs> you're right. You okay? <laughs> you're running. You're running a fever. You got a temperature. <laughs> you inhaled too much slurry. <laughs> Those fumes have got to you. I think I've lost about ten thousand subscribers yeah. with that comment. Yeah. All right. Go. <laughs> go burn some diesel. <laughs> uh, anyhow, we're. Uh, that's pretty much our tasks for the day done now, isn't it? It is. I might go and wash my tractor. It's looking a little bit grubby. I tried as you drove past, but you went too fast. Uh, but what are we going to do? Skip forward for the day and uh, hope the canola's ready to harvest. Yep, yeah, let's uh, let's knock off at lunchtime and fire up the barbecue. Sounds like a good idea to me. I'll go see if I can find some deer somewhere. Alright, sounds good. Otherwise, <laughs> one less sheep won't matter, will it? No, nobody will notice. No, alright. Morning mate, how you doing? Hey Ox, I'm well. Just came over and had a look at the crops, looking very nice. It is looking very nice. Uh, it looks like we're into growing weeds as well. That sprung up from that uh, digestate and spray spread. Yeah, I think we did uh, over overcook it on the nutrients for them. Another another job to add to the list. Yeah, yeah, keep them coming. Uh, right, so uh, go and grab the combine and get into a little bit of harvesting here, I suppose. Yeah, looking forward to it. All right. There we go, it's 8am the following day. We're going to grab the combine. I'm going to grab the auger wagon. We're going to bag this up as well. If you didn't see the live stream, we've got a bagger here for our crops, rather than putting it into a silo because we don't afford. We don't have one. We can't afford one. So uh, we are going to uh, bag them up, like the stuff you saw at the start of the episode. What's your poison, Args? Combine or auger wagon? Uh, I'm not fussy. It's not going to be a very high yield in the auger uh, canola, is it? It's not going to be huge, no. Hmm. I'm just. Oh, pardon my French, but did you look at our bank account? <laughs> oh, where did that come from? Electricity. That's a brilliant little earner, isn't it? <laughs> like I said, we should just <laughs> make silage and keep that just pump plow up. through the silage the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at least it's trickling in. We've still got about 180 thousand liters of silage. Um. You sure you don't want to rethink that electric tractor? Yeah. No. Right, here she is, nicely washed again by Arx before she was put away. So we will head on out of here and start cutting. This doesn't yield as high as wheat, so we may not get as much out of here. But uh, we will get this sorted. I'll run the headlands and then we'll come back and uh, fire up the up and down roads. Arx is going to come and drive it for a bit as well. We all love driving a combine, right?
Okay, that is the field finished. Just Arx putting the last little bits into the hopper here. And then we'll go and bag this up and then we are done. We'll take this down, bag it up. And that is a good way good day's work done already. So here's our bagger. There is half a bag sitting there at the moment and a full one at the side. So we'll just rotate around until we get to the unload point. There we go. The clipping mask is a little bit off on this. But there we go. We'll unload that. You can see the bag filling underneath. We'll move that out of the way and it'll continue to bag up the next one. Very clever little tool. Very helpful if you haven't got the money or you've got a small farm and you don't want to have your own silo. It's just a nice alternative. So we'll move this tractor out of the way and we'll jump in Args and we'll uh, use the forklift to lift and bag them. Oh, there we go. Args is too quick off the mark. Args has got this, he's going to move that out of the way and you'll see the other one starts to fill up straight away. We'll pick up this second one here because he's quite adept with the forks. I say as he misses it. <laughs> Stop watching me, damn you. I was just saying, oh, it's a good job Args is doing this because he's quite adept with the forks. <laughs> It. What are you loving it? <laughs> Nothing. We've got a lot of crops in here now. Look at this. Quite an impressive setup that we've got. There's all our wheat. There's our oats. You know, you have to unload them all onto a trailer, right? Eh? And there is our canola. So we'll just park this up here. Oh, because it's just putting the last bag away. And that is a very nice little episode of work done. I was just saying, Arx, there's a fair bit of cash sitting in here. There is a little bit. I did a bit of maths before, before we had the canola in here, and it was, uh, I think there's about $40,000, $45,000 when we sell at a peak in December. Very nice. Not going to complain about that. Not going to complain too much. Still not uh, silage making electricity, though. No, no, we'll just leave that ticking over in the background as well. Very handy to have. Absolutely is. Well, ruthlessly efficient is has become the norm on No Man's Land. It really has, isn't it? Plenty more to do, though. The uh, sorghum over in the new land is ready already, as is the first potato field. Yes, indeed. So, yeah, no, no rest for the wicked. We'll be, uh, we'll be full on for the next few episodes, I think. Yep. And uh, what else we say? Oh, some hay. Might have to get some more hay done, too. Yep, we're running low on that for animal feed plenty to keep us busy but uh that is going to do us for today i think yep thank you very much mate a pleasure as always indeed it was we'll uh chat to you sometime but have a nice week and we'll see you next weekend yes indeed mate have a good good week yeah you too all right i'll catch you later take care mate bye bye so there we go folks another week done another bunch of work done this uh this grain bag is a really nice tool, actually. I'll pop a link to it in the description below so you can get it for yourself if you want to play with it. But there we go. Lots and lots of wheat, oats, and canola. Had a bit of fun in the combine, too. And uh, we split our sheep up, so they should uh, hopefully produce even more sheep now. Um, so it's all go here. It is all go on No Man's Land. Thank you all very much for watching, as always. It is always a pleasure. And I will see you all again very soon. That was Args. I'm the Farm Sim Guy. Take care. Bye for now.